Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Dragon Ball The Breakers. Today we are gonna play around a little bit. Let the Carnival of Terror begin. Let the Carnival of Terror begin. Our lovely Lord Freezer. We have some level 100 survivors in the enemy team. So perhaps this will be a little bit less boring. Because sadly the Raider is a little bit overpowered in this game. And with a little bit, I mean he's totally overpowered. Which is the main reason why I currently play Freezer, because out of the three Raiders, Freezer is by far the weakest. That doesn't mean he is bad, it's just he is not as absolutely devastating to play against as Boo or Cell. Cell growth is so insanely fast that he, you get basically level 4 within like 4 minutes, 5 minutes of the match if you're lucky, so yeah. That's pretty unfair. Which makes him currently the strongest. We have some monkeys over here to kill. Give me the dragon boars, thank you very much. It's actually bad if they give us dragon boars because that gives us less growth, which is bad. Boo, like in the dragon boar show, is an absolute menace, especially once you get to super boo, because at that point you are literally not beatable. Like, you, you have to willingly lose. Like intentionally lose to get beaten the moment you ha have Super Boo. The only thing that makes Boo not the strongest, always stronger than Cell in this game, is the fact that Spopovich, his first form, is just so dog shit that it takes a while to grow sometimes. B because he just absolutely sucks. But the moment you get Boo level 2. You are good, and the moment you get Boo level 3 Super Boo, you're just not gonna lose. It's just not happening. Nothing the enemy team can do will make you lose. It's just the fact it's over by then. So we have some people here. Oh wow. I thought someone would be coming in. Uh, not that he would summon one. That was actually a smart play. Alright, the only thing that makes Cell not absolutely stupidly broken is the fact that his free kinda sucks because his key blast, Kamiyamiha, is just so predictable that you can easily dodge it. So let's destroy an area, let's destroy D because they just found the key there. What do I see there? Kai Oken. Why? Why would anybody use Kaioken? It's it's such a shit ability. Like it's literally just a dinner bill for the Raider. You are literally just screaming, Hey yo, bro, I'm here. Can these vending machines please die? Thank you. Now Freezer kinda sucks compared to the other two Raiders because he is not very accurate. But he is still very strong and definitely overpowered because all raiders are overpowered. He's just from the two raiders the worst option to pick, which is why I play him because I would like to actually play the game. You know, ha have like at least two brain cells active when I'm playing the raider. And I have to actually do something. Or act I actually have the possibility of losing. Like... If you want to know how broken it is, like my first match with Cell as a Raider, I got 7 kills immediately, there were level 100 players, survivors in the survivor team, so yeah, this is how broken it is, a an absolute noob like me can absolutely steamroll even higher level survivors with ease, especially because of this. Here, he was he was actually smart, he was just hiding, however the lock-on system is such bullshit because it just tells you where everyone is automatically at. The moment you come close to a survivor it will automatically target them and play like the theme music, the combat music and literally tell you, you there is someone hiding there, so stealth is literally not an option. Alright, the Kaioken guy is somewhere here. Let's teach him what happens when you just use Kaioken. It won't save you. Uh, for those who are curious what are good abilities to use. 
if you're new to the game, um, first of all, you have to roll for the good abilities because the abilities you have at the beginning are all dog shit. Um, the only good thing you have at the beginning is the grapple, that's pretty much it. You want to get an Android 17 roll for Android shield. I think 17 had the shield, I'm not sure though. You want to get the cell roll, which I still have not got for after image. And you want to get Bulma bike. You can get it by simply playing Bulma as a character for your survivor. Or... Yeah, fucked up, I should have immediately gotten for A. I'm talking too much. But yeah, anyway, so another Kaioken guy, would you look at that? <laughs> Um, Bulma bike you unlock it by simply playing Bulma as your survival character if you want to have it on your own survival character that you designed uh, you have to upgrade the Bulma bike up to level 10 that's how you unlock character abilities on all characters just upgrade it to 10 plus that way you unlock it on all characters you have another good ability especially for starters would be Quinn's shoes since that's a more common role Solar flares also okay. Those are the more common wars you will have at the beginning, but yeah, ideal build in terms of abilities would be for survivor, android shield, after image, grappling hook, and Bulma bike. That would be my personal build I would like to have currently. I'm missing after image and I use Quillen's shoe to replace the lack of that since I find it better than solar flare at times since it has more range. Sort of, I have to be kind of inside of the enemy, literally, for it to hit. Someone is hiding under B. Hello there. Cannot escape. Was that the Bulma bike that he just tried to summon? Oof. That was a big waste. Your Kaioken will not save you. Why is everyone using Kaioken? What the fuck? <laughs> Didn't you get the memo? Kaioken sucks. It's ass. Don't use it. Oh, you've let me write to your half dead friend. Oh, you tried to save him. That is very foolish. Because now you will die alongside him instead. There you go. Another one trying to save his friend. Very foolish. Your friend was already... Oh, you have also all the Dragon Balls. Thank you very much for that. <laughs> what? What? Why would you come with like six Dragon Balls over here to me? Or five. I think I've had one already. Why would you come with all the Dragon Balls to me so that I can kill you? So that I can get all the Dragon Balls. <laughs> would you like to work for me? As Freezer would say now, if I would have that voice line. I need one more kill to get to level 4 for my Freezer. And... My NPC actually managed to hit him. Two hits from them in one round, that's impressive. Usually they don't hit shit. And we are Freezer. Where's the last Dragon Ball? I want to become immortal. Oh, you found the power key for E, did you? Would be a shame if someone would drop a nuclear bomb on it. A real shame, isn't it? <laughs> there goes your progress. So now you have to go all the way over to B. Oh, you've already found the key beer. Person. Are you hiding? Come on, broken lock on system. Tell me where they at. Don't you want to get your Dragon Balls back? Come out. Oh, hello there. Hiding doesn't work. Stealth is not an option. 
You should know that. Die! Three survivors left. And now there will be only be two survivors left. Die! You rage quit. We've quite quite a lot of rage quits currently. One of the Kaioken guys rage quitted as I killed him to get into my level 3 form. So yeah, now they have pretty much lost because unless I destroy the time machine, the emergency time machines won't spawn because, yeah. Drop is immediately here. That's also so dumb. Why do the drops like spawn so close to the radar? The drops should kinda spawn in a certain radius with what the fuck? How? <laughs> huh? <laughs> Emergency time machines. Did they change that in the newest patch? Because usually those time. Oh, yeah, the last Dragon Ball. Make me immortal. Okay, that's weird because usually those don't spawn until the big time machine is dead or if the big time machine did not get spawned at all. Because they failed to do the objective in time before all the zones were destroyed. Slash, too many players died. Okay, interesting. So they either it's a bug or they've changed that. So it's now like that bad I that hatch. Don't count as a win, really, for the survivors because emergency time machine escape doesn't count. It's just the way to get extra points as survivor if you failed. But yeah, GG. Yep, yet in another game, this time a survivor, and we are facing a level 18 freezer. Alright. <coughs> so we are in B. Let us probably red B, so we should probably. One button. Move to A. Let's get this person first, though, for some level. My Is that enough to level up? Probably not. No, it isn't. Haven't played in a while. There's also a new patch to the match. I've changed things. I have not looked into what has actually changed with the patch. It doesn't feel a lot different. This gets us to level 1. Power Cubator, perfect. You found a power key. Go slot it. Yeah, I have a couple of one, level 100 players in my lobby, so... Yeah, this explains why we are having already two power keys found. Before the radar is even level 2. He's just kind of struggling. He's missing that the last little monkey to kill with the death laser. He's having trouble finding that last NPC. That last monkey, as he would say. The bow radar noise. He is here. Close by at least. Oh, never mind, it's just a bike ride. Yeah. Well, now he's coming over here. I hope he wasn't chasing the guy with the bike. I hope you didn't lead the guy to me. That would be not appreciated. I think he's going over to B slash C because that's where the power key was just placed. He somehow didn't hear that NPC over here. Screaming, hey, yo, I'm here. By the way, kill me, please. Grateful. Yeah, that gets us not even to level 2 because we're missing like a 1 millimeter. Nice. Pain. But here's the last skip we need. It's level 2 dragon change. Key is above us. More money. 
Dragon Ball Raider Level 2. Ja, für Kappel Dragon Balls. Äh, ja, wenn ich zu Camp ab hier. No was, fuck it. Scrapple ab hier. He should be in that lake over there. Yeah, he still has not gotten that last um, NPC, by the way. <laughs> He's still searching for one. Let's get to that power key as fast as we can, because the moment he levels up, he will probably destroy the area. Says good at NPC first, though. Teammate is already on the key. He also has a Dragon Ball, perfect. Please don't fight the Raider that much because Frieza has a special passive ability that when he takes damage, he increases his level. Oh, he gets growth. Power key is set, perfect. Good work. So, only D and E left. We have three power key set, and Frieza is still level one. This is usually how it looks like when you play a Spopovich. But not Freezer. Freezer is actually really good. Because Freezer actually is the best level 1 from the Raiders. Like his level 1 is so strong you can definitely just don't even look for NPCs and just go immediately for player kills. Because you can totally fight and if they fight you back you will gain growth from it as well. Let's get a bike from here. Because I have two passive perks that I am faster when I'm on a bike and I also jump higher. Quite useful at times, especially since I like to use Bulma bike a lot. Alright. The guys are also here. Let's look for that power key. Yeah, it's in there, my talent. Great. Oh no. Wait, I see he lured him over here. That's bad. Oh, I still have usually isn't an option. This might work. <laughs> and if not, end up barrier creating through pull my bike. Perfect combo. <laughs> Can you fuck off? Yeah, he's look on me. Eh. Get quit and shoot. Let's go. Boom, my bike is just so good. E is set already, okay, we are only missing the E and he is still level 1 by the way, because my teammates are smart enough to not fight him. Do we have all the 7 Dragon Balls? I think we have. Maybe. Then let's get to get guy who has the most over there. Is he coming towards me? I hope not. Please stay in the freezer. So that we can summon Shenron over here. Please don't come over here. The other guy is coming over here, perfect. Yeah, we have all the seven Dragon Balls. Let's go, Boomba. Yeah, let's fight the Vader. <laughs> I'm gonna go... and stay back for a bit. Because fighting the Vader is always, especially with Shenron, he's now gonna go level 2 because another passive is that when we summon Shen 1, he will also get growth, which will be enough for him to rank up to 2. Alright. Um, I think I want to get set that power key. Because I want to get the time machine to apply pressure just in case things go wrong with fighting him. Never mind, he's doing that himself. So, he's gonna destroy the area that will spawn time machine, so while everyone is going to go into the special form, I'm gonna stay here. 
and do the time machine for a bit and then join it a bit later up and help fight they're doing good damage yeah they're all up there damn we have electric wave yeah we have one will that spirit bomb hit? it will hit yes let's join Let's absolutely beat the shleven shit out of this form 2 freezer. <laughs> oh no, he was transforming. Ah, oh, yeah, I forgot. Take damage and you transform. Freezer gets stronger, the harder he gets fucked up. Oh, where are you at? There. Oh fuck, he was doing a zone destruction. If you do a zone destruction, you have iframes. That was smart of him, but we still have the level 4 guy who is not limited by time. So, you can just do the finishing blow and we won. Not even a single guy died in this match. This was the perfect survivor match. Not a single one died. It's all because this visa. It's a level 18 visa, so I'm not sure what the fuck he was doing because my visa is like now level 8. So he has more experience than me with the character. Yet he completely. He can't even get out of his first one. Either he was the unluckiest raider ever or he's just absolute. Dog water meat. Oh, wait. <laughs> GG's. Thank you all for watching, and we will see us in the next episode of Dragon Ball The Breakout.